Good morning everyone. This is a sort of practice live stream, but I'm not actually going to be able to see your comments because I'm not transmitting this as I did yesterday or the day before. What a beautiful place to start a live stream. The reason I'm doing this is because I want a higher quality image. I want it to be so that you can see what I see. So I will be answering your questions as you type them because this will be going live as a premiere. Um, but I won't be able to see them while I'm walking along. A little bird here. So I'm, I'm, at the, I'm gonna start today at the rice paddies. You probably won't be able to see. There's so much wildlife in these rice paddies. It's early morning again, a little bit later, probably about eight o'clock. So it's already starting to get hot, but I've had coffee and I've had, um, I've got water, a banana, so I should be fit enough to walk. Let's head off down the busy road. We're going from the rice paddies um, and we're gonna go down into the little village and just see what we see along the way. And I'll have a chat with you as we go. It's a lovely morning. It's uh, already, it gets warm very early in Bali. Um, we're probably up around about uh, mid 25 degrees Celsius. So if somebody wants to share with me what that is in Fahrenheit in the comments, some little guest house here. These are out of the town, but there are guest house everywhere. I will do a video about the costs of staying in guest house because they're super, they're very cheap uh, and good value. And there's a bunch of guys here. This is the temple we stopped at yesterday. Oh, by, the, by the way, Salamat Bagi, good morning to those of you that are in Indonesia. Good morning, Salamat Bagi. How are you? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Salamat Bagi. Just looking at the rice fields. <coughs> what are you guys doing? Resting? No, I am the show. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Prepare for ceremony. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the uni we have ceremony. In the temple yeah, down here. Oh, I know. On June. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, <laughs> big ceremony. Yeah. So the the temples. Let me just show you um, these rice paddies because I think they're particularly pretty. Every temple in Bali. Thank you, Suksaman. Suksaman. Every temple in Bali has its own sort of birthday. But it has its um, special birthday every, now I, I'm not sure the figures, so I'm not gonna even guess at them, but it's every certain number of birthdays or year, they have a really big celebration for the temple. One of them down in the, the, the little village down here is having its major celebration. You've gotta be careful of the cars. Bikes are fine, cars, cars are tricky. And that's why I'm gonna move off into the quieter road soon. So they have a really big celebration. <laughs> I can't tell you how often. It's every sort of number of years. And one of them is coming up and they're getting very excited. There's a lot of preparation, lots going on. They're gonna be making the uh, pendure, pendure, which are, I'll maybe show you a better example of those if I see one, like a bamboo stand. You can see the road I'm walking down here just about wide enough for two cars but frequently you will see two cars on this road passing each other there's a little cafe here nothing's really open at this time of the morning they don't open early I usually get accosted by the dog that's here there's a lovely uh, golden retriever and he's pretty boisterous but he's not around this morning I'll see if Mickey, my puppy, is around further down this road. <clears throat> a lot of construction going on as well. There's a construction yard here. Salamat baggy. Nobody minds you filming as long as you're polite. Don't look too, too intrusive, you know. They really don't mind. 
They're usually quite happy. They usually jump in front of the camera and start performing and dancing. Now every property, even an old property like this, it has uh, two statues either side. They're, for want of a better word, they're almost like a yin and a yang, the balance between uh, the good and the evil. At least that's what I'm, I'm led to believe. I'm learning. I'm learning with you. So, you can comment if you need to be, uh, let me know accurately the full story. I'm learning, and as I find out more information, I'll let you know, because you're learning with me. So the sooner I can get off this road, the sooner we get better sound, hopefully not too much noise. Now, I, I said that. Ooh. Comes a big truck. I said that in the live stream, and that's why I wanted to do this today, so you can see just with a much more clarity where I'm walking. Because I watched the live stream back, and it was all blocky and uh, not clear. And I was hoping you were seeing what I was seeing—the lovely, vibrant colours, the people in all their beautiful clothing. And when I look back, it wasn't as as good. Now, another thing: this is very Balinese. This sort of stonework, very angular stonework. The, the ridges like this, it's very Balinese. Now, I'm just going to step off the road. Here come the girls with the, the baskets on their head. They're delivering sand to the construction yard. Every morning I come out, these girls are working. If they're not working here, Good morning, Salamat Baggy, how are you? Stepping off the road, it's getting a bit too crowded. Not much further, not much further, and a little bit of sanctuary. Just see if Mickey's there first. Mickey's a little puppy. And again, you didn't see Mickey as clearly as I'd like you to see him, just see how cute he is. I hope he's here. Do you know what? He's not. He's not here. Probably I'm too early. This is uh, Chuchi Motors. This is a place you can come and get your scooter clean. So this guy on this side, he does his own sort of carving. And on this side, oh, we missed Mickey this morning. Good morning, Salamat Maggie. So here is here is where we're going, up this little lane. And I was about to say, so we get no more traffic. But there's still traffic. But at least there's not going to be any cars on this stretch of road. So this is a, a little laneway that goes down into the village. There's another bike coming. Morning. And to the right of me, we have the rice paddies. A little bit of construction. Excuse me, sneezed. So what would you like to know? This is Bali. This is typically what many of the towns and villages are now. Just notice there is a, a little mirror up here. Good morning, Salamat Bagi. How are you? There's a little mirror showing me that uh, people are coming around the corner. Didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> Which side are we going? <laughs> and 
and all along here are little guest houses many many guest houses a lot of tourists in Bali not too much bordering on too much to be honest um, but comfortable I'm not sure if there are different times of the year because I think it's actually a lower season at the moment so it's possible that's why we're getting such good rates on the rooms although I'm led to believe they're pretty much the normal rates we'll talk about that in a lot more detail actually if you ask in the comments I'll answer some of those questions so this is my little pathway Salamat Maggie. Is this papaya? Not for English. Huh? Not for English. This papaya? Oh, papaya, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and bananas. Bananas. Took some, uh, Banana. thank you. Bananas. So, lovely papaya tree just here. And banana trees. Okay, so we're coming out into sort of a, a little opening here, a little village area. I'm going to turn the camera to me because there's some uh, some guests of a hotel checking in or checking out. Now look at these, like little uh, little totems. These people are either checking in or checking out, so I love this stonework. This is what I was showing you the other days. You guys, oh, hello there, little dog. A little doggy here. But look at the, the brickwork. Now these arches, they're all hand cut. It's very pretty. Good morning. Good morning. You'll never get any trouble filming with the locals. Just occasionally, you've got to be respectful of the tourists. Well, you don't have to be respectful, but sometimes they get a bit narky because you know what it's like. They're uh, always hiding from something. Or, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. But I think they take life a little more seriously. Morning. Salamat baggy. So this is what we saw on the live stream the other day. I'm sorry to take you to the same place, but I wanted to do this with the um, higher quality camera so you could see what I was seeing. And I thought it might be nice just to come out and chat. Now you might remember at that place um, the other day when I was walking down here, there was a lady who came out, I've just got to swap hands, my arms aching. There was a lady that came out in a bikini into the street and I said to you then I wasn't really approving of it because this is a this is a Hindu country and they're fairly modest. Uh, generally the ladies will always have their shoulders covered and and something long on down to the knees. Um, not extremely strict but it is a little unrespectful to sort of walk around the streets out here on these streets anyway in just a bikini very I mean she was a lady in her probably in her 50s but wandering out here talking to the men in her bikini it, it's just not it's it's like saying you're not bothered by their culture and it also can lead you into getting into trouble you know, some people get into bother when they're traveling and then uh, they wonder why. Now, there's no reason that you should get into any trouble when you're traveling, but there are sensible things you can do to sort of make life a little bit easier on yourself. And one of them is not to wander around a fairly... Um... So we've got a big truck coming in here now.
<laughs> Selamat pagi. Selamat morning. Pagi. Yeah, one of them's not to walk around a country that is got fairly modest values in a string bikini. And what were the other things we discussed? The dogs? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. A little chihuahua. A lot of little... No, these are little Pom Pomeranians. A whole herd of Pomeranians coming at me. Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Oh, let's say hello to them. Hello. Hello. Oi, 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 oi. Sorry about the uh, the barking. They'll stop when they get used to me. Once they get used to me. Am I right? They're little Pomeranians? Not Chihuahuas. As I was saying before uh, about dogs, they love their dogs here. Um, I get comments all the time from people saying that they eat dogs. They don't eat dogs in uh, Indonesia. Um, they do take good care of their dogs. Now it's very hard in these little lanes, little lane ways. Occasionally a dog will get hit by a bike or by a car. It will happen. But nobody wants that to happen. It's bad karma, basically. So, these little dogs, they're pets. They're pampered pets like anywhere else in the world. They're looked after. There aren't so many sort of mangy street dogs here that you see in other parts of Southeast Asia. I think because the, the culture is, is, is to look after your pets. There are some. I mean, mange is a thing that will get into animals who live out on the streets. Quite often they can pick up sort of infections and maybe the families can't always afford to, to treat the animals. So you will see it occasionally. But uh, it's, not from, it's not from wanting to neglect the animals. So how is this going, everybody? How is this going? This is a non-live live stream. It's a walkabout. Should I turn the camera more this way? And sort of show you where I'm heading? Or turn the camera this way? Now here's a really typical example. This is Tara House and you have Ganesh. So we'll have some sort of shrine either side of the doors, often a statue, but almost always they have the Ganesh, the sort of um, welcoming of good spirits or positivity. So I'm going to head down one of these little lanes. See what we can see. Probably just come to somebody's house. Yeah, I think I've done it again. Just come to a, a dead end. Car park. How are you all doing today? I can't answer you here on this live stream. But I can in the comments, because I, if you're watching this at the time it goes live, I'll be reading your comments as they come through. Probably didn't make that clear at the beginning, did I? Lots to learn. So much to learn. Wow, how did that get in there? There's a car that looks like it's uh, 
too big for its boots. How they squeeze that in the garage, could you see that? I think this has quite a wide angle, this camera, so it might look like a bit of a speck. Maybe I can zoom in a bit. I'll tell you what's very popular over here. They like their Vespers. All right, there's a lot of older vintage style Vespers. And they are nice, aesthetically they're nice. Audibly, most of them are pretty, not all of them, are horrible. You know, it's nice when you get in a Volkswagen Beetle, you've got that lovely sound of the old Beetles that used to, you know, a very distinct sound. And the Vespers, that, that are these older vintage Vespers that are going around here, they look great, but my, they sound like somebody's in there sort of hammering metal. You know, a tinker in there sort of like knocking the dents out of the engine. So I'm in new territory now. I haven't been down this road before. Came down a little way the other day with you, but I didn't come down this far. So I have no idea what we're going to be able to see. All I do know is we're back into four wheel traffic. Oh, and there's one behind me also. So it's also two-way traffic, four-wheel, two-way. I think I better get off. No, not yet, not yet. Make hay while the sun shines. Go down. What is down here? Merchandise, adoptions and education. Serendipity house. Let's go down here. This guy is squeezing through what is down here it's a really little alleyway you've got all this lichen on the walls look how pretty this is just growing on the on the brickwork let us go on a walk of discovery and, and of course it'll be just a, a dead end somebody's house they never mind a lot of bikes down here yes we're pretty much at another little dead end Serenity House. Rightfully so, huh? Nice and quiet down here. Now it looks probably pretty plain on this side. I bet you on the other side of this building, I bet you they've got lovely uh, rice paddies and open fields. Yeah, I can actually see. I won't stick the camera, but. There's a couple sat on a, a little porch there, a very Western style, a little villas, little bungalows. So even in these tiny little alleyways, there are still more guest houses. Let's go back out. Back out onto the super highway. So I'm better prepared, as I said. I've had a bit of coffee this morning. Michelle is still in bed. She might be up by now, but um, I've just come out for my, my morning jalang jalang, my morning walk. So everything can, every single morning, Somebody comes out and they give a, an offering, a little bit of food, fire. So smoke, the joysticks represent fire, um, food, and then they sprinkle some water on every little temple. See, there's one here, 
there's one here there's one here they will come out probably later on and they'll put the same thing on the bikes so they'll bless the bikes There's another one at the doorway at the entrance. Again, we've got this lovely stonework. This is brickwork here. Good morning, sir. More guests coming out. Sometimes it feels like you're a long way from anywhere and still there's hundreds of little guest houses guest houses is that the plural I think it is now this is interesting two more little statues this guy has the traditional sarong on has that little knife there's a name for this knife if you want to share that he has the uh, the traditional headdress on so this is the temple gear that they wear to the temple good morning how are you these Balinese roofs these are little temples quite often they're um, ancestral burial temples so again I'm still learning about that but as I find out the information if you want to share in the comments you can of course um, but they definitely are tombs or um, places where they can worship certain ancestors so again every morning I'll show you let's walk back up because it's getting a little oh let's keep on let's keep on who cares if there's too much traffic and too many tourists oh good morning, morning. Salamat baggy. so these uh, laundry yeah. so guys have a little laundry here uh, RD laundry. So how much is laundry? Twenty. Twenty for one, for one kilo, yeah. So it's twenty a kilo. You can come down here, get your laundry done. These guys will fold it up and return it back, all nice and dry and fresh and pressed. Whoops! Do not, do not step over these. These little offerings on the doorways. Galang Galang. Chanang. Oh, Chanang. Yeah. Oh, Galang Galang. <laughs> Chanang. Yeah. So you, you don't step over, right? You go round. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Ha, remind me again, how do you say it? How do you say? Chanang. 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 And this also, Chanang, the all. Yeah. Chanan, yeah? Okay, so we've learned something today. The little offerings, Chanan. You have water, yeah. uh, fire, and uh, food. Okay. It's a man. Really lovely. I tell you, I've said it many times. The Balinese. Oh, quickly, let me just show you. It's Ganesh. We've got the entrance, number 19, and Ganesh welcome, welcoming the positivity into the house. Now this is interesting, because on this doorway, we have an elderly gentleman. He's got the little, um, little Balinese bag. And then on this side, we have the elderly lady. So... And there is uh, Ganesh, a little bit further back. You can just about make that up, make that out, should I say. So let's have a look on the opposite side. Here we have two little temples. Either side of the door, Ganesh decorated in the center with a gold sarong. We've got another mirror here showing me what's coming up this road. Good morning. Salamat Bagi. And when I say Salamat Bagi, which is good morning to people, they'll respond with Bagi.
Are the cockerels crowing now? Cockerels crowing. So we're going to go a little further down. It's quite nice to have a look at these little openings to each of the houses, isn't it? To see how they contrast what they have. So we had, sometimes they've got little, a little temple either side. This one has a male and female figure again, younger couple. Will Ganesh be inside? Let's have a look. And there's Ganesh. Now, a little offering on the floor, don't step over it. Forgot the name already for the offering. You know the problem when you learn a new word it's important to use that word over and over again within the first few minutes. <laughs> and as I came away from those two chaps there that were kind enough to entertain me in town with a name, you, you can remember because you, you could just you know, go back. Um, I was trying to remember the name of these bamboo posts. So I'm looking at them. Hello, so my baggy. I was trying to remember the name of the bang bamboo posts. So the name of the little offering went straight out, straight out of my head. So what are they called? Ba, 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 ba. I forgot. It'll come to me. Come to me when I'm not trying to remember it. See, every doorway has a has a different different characters. Love it. The other day, Michelle and I were walking down to get a little something to eat in a local warang warang. Um, and there was a, a little schoolgirl just going up the steps. There was a tall entrance to the home and she was just walking backwards through the doors and the doors, the big wooden doors just opened. And I thought that's so beautiful to see, you know, a child walking backwards into this beautiful sort of, and it was just her house. It was just the front door of her house, but it looked very enchanting. Lots of motorbike rental places. We are actually getting away from the, the little village now and getting down into the center of Ubud. Ubud is a very popular town here in Bali and uh, it's a sort of spiritual center for a lot of people. They come here to practice yoga. Uh, they come here to relax, rejuvenate. But, but having said that, I'm not taking you down to the high street because it is about as far away from relaxing and rejuvenating as you can get. Whatever traffic we have on these little lanes, I'm going back up now. Whatever traffic we have on these little lanes, empties out like um, little estuaries, like little streams onto that big lane down there. So there are many of these little laneways all entering onto that road which is just bedlam so I'm not going to go down to it morning now on contrast on contrast ow see already the noise is starting to get heavier a little Euro European girl came out and she saw me. I wasn't filming that way, but she's like this. Got her head down. All the way past. Now a lot of you will say, oh you've got to respect people. You know, their, their right to the privacy. But it isn't really about privacy. It's about where we come from. It's the culture that we live in. It's the fact that everybody is so pent up. And so, um, you might have noticed on the live stream the other day, there was a lovely lady, a, a nomadic lady who came from, um, hello, 
who came from Barcelona in Spain. And rather than sort of like put her head down like this, she was, hello, how are you? Good morning, I've had a lovely morning. How is your morning? Much more like the Balinese people are across the board. This guy is smiling at me, just going about his work, much more relaxed. But people, they come here with all their Western baggage, all their anxiety. Most of them you think were hiding from the FBI or something. What are the chances if that young girl had looked up and said, good morning, what are the chances? Wherever she's from, Greece or Italy or Russia, that somebody who knows her is gonna see my vlog and say, huh, you're supposed to be at work. <laughs> but that's, the, that's what I mean. It probably is something as, as naive as that that makes people so uptight. And I'm not judging. Yes, I am. I think as you get as you get older, you get more relaxed. Not everybody about these things. So on that note, before I start going over old grounds, I'm going to say love to you all. Salamat Magi, wherever you are in the world. And uh, I hope you have a great day. See? You didn't see it there, but the guy just looked, saw me here, and he smiles. Big grin. Anyway, take care, share the love, and I'll see you in a video very shortly. Take care. I want to start the camera again. I'm actually going to cut across this field because I know this activity, this construction over here is for the, the big temple celebration. So they're actually building a, a grass roof structure that's going to be for uh, an offering area, just for providing offerings. That's how important this next ceremony is. It's so big, they're actually building a whole a building just to take the offerings for the temple. So there's a lot of activity here at the moment and I just want to share it with you. So I'll turn the camera around, take a look. Salamat Baggy. So you can see all the guys here, they're putting the grass roofs on. So much construction, so there's a whole whole new bamboo building going up. Two bamboo buildings. Salamat Baggy. And so many guys working. We just come up here a little bit. So the temple is is this more modern style building behind. It's actually it's actually not that modern. If you if you look from the, the front, this is probably just an extension on the back. And this is the uh, the building they're going up. And this is in June. Morning, Salamat Maggi. How are you? Fine. You making all the for tying? Yeah. For tying the, the bamboo, yeah? Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, cool. Thank you. I just remembered the name for those bamboo posts that I forgot. It's Penjur. I think it's Penjur. If you've commented already, thank you. I knew it had come to me when I was uh, looking at a pile of bamboo. So it's a Penjur. And it's a, a long, curved. I can't go into the temple because I'm not uh, I'm not appropriately dressed. But you can see the the temple here. Sorry, I lose track. So it's a long bamboo pole that goes very thin towards the top, 
and then it curves over and they're going to they decorate them with um, uh, banana leaves and all sorts of I mean they can get really elaborate I'll just put the camera up so you can see into the temple that is it I just thought I'd share that with you I thought you might like to see it take care